Good evening, and it's my pleasure to introduce you to Century High School's top 100 students. Briselda Avilan finishes with a GPA of 4.30 and will attend UC Riverside in the fall, majoring in psychology. Earning a GPA of 4.32 and attending UC Davis, Jose de la Peña. Elma Garcia completes high school with a 4.43 GPA and will attend UCLA majoring in mathematics. Jose Hernandez takes his 4.5 GPA to UC San Diego, majoring in mechanical engineering. Paulo Marquez has earned a 4.35 GPA and is heading to UCI to major in biology. Edith Mendoza, finishing with a 4.42, will attend UC Santa Barbara with a mathematics major. Abdul Osman has earned a 4.71 and will attend UCI majoring in computer science. David Santiago completes high school with a 4.62, will attend UCLA to pursue marine biology. And his twin brother, Jesus Santiago, finishes with a 4.74 at UC Davis, majoring in plant biology.
you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ruben Triscarino Barrera has earned 4.35 and will attend UCI majoring in biology. Cindy Young impressively finishes with a 4.68 GPA going to UCI to major in English education. Rosa Yanez earned a 4.65 and is heading to San UC San Diego, our Gates Millennium Scholar, majoring in engineering. At this time now, I would like to invite back our top female scholar and her parents, Cindy Ung, to come front. Cindy intends to follow her passion for English as well as helping others by becoming a high school English teacher and looks forward to guiding students through improving their language skills, understanding human condition. Cindy's loved her journalism class, crafting the school newspaper as its editor-in-chief while spreading a positive culture of reading throughout the campus. She currently serves as Century's president of the National Honor Society, vice president of Key Club, and co-president of the Book Club. Cindy, we also know you're an amazing and gifted speaker and look forward to your speeches in the future. At this time, I'd like to invite our top male centurion, Jesus Santiago, to the front. <laughs> Jesus is an accomplished scholar who dreams of becoming a research botanist, hoping to find new discoveries that will lead to enhanced plant productivity. His favorite class at Century has been biology, where he's sharpened his skills. where he sharpened his skills in questioning, observing, and experimentation in order to gain more knowledge. Jesus is also an accomplished athlete, competing in cross country, track, football, and numerous community service hours as a member of Key Club. Most importantly, he and his twin brother David will be the first in their family to attend university. Jesus, there's no doubt we'll be hearing about the great contributions you're making to our earth in a sustainable place for all of us. Thank you to our Centurion Scholars of the Top 100. Uh -huh. 
It is now my pleasure to introduce my distinguished colleague, Matthew Cruz, the principal of Cesar Chavez High School. Cesar Chavez said that the most powerful force in the world is an educated mind. And when I look at this audience and I see you top 100 students, I can only think, oh my God, what an incredible force in this room. But then it occurred to me as I was watching and I heard, es, es mi hijo. <laughs> that the context for all that is incredible love. And I think tonight is a celebration of love and powerful minds. I have the pleasure of having two of those powerful minds at my school, and I'm proud that they're here, and so I'd like to call up first, ladies first, Luisa Sanchez. I'm going to keep it short. I'm going to use some cliches, <laughs> Mr. Long. If I was going to characterize Luisa, it would be tough times don't last, tough people do. Luisa has overcome great, great challenges in her life. And I'm just going to say that one of the things that characterizes all these top 100 students is their tenacity to achieve and to be successful. And Luisa found her path, and there was a little glitch this year. And she said, Mr. Cruz, that's not me because I don't have time to get into trouble. <laughs> I have to succeed. And for those of you who don't know, Cesar Chavez started a pilot this year. It's a word from our sponsor. We have night school for high school students. And Luisa, not only is she going to day school, but she's going to night school taking 11 classes, and she is overcoming and she's going to be successful. Congratulations, Luisa. I'd like to now invite Alejandro Lua. If I were going to describe Alejandro, it would be still waters run deep. It's not sometimes what we do, but it's what we don't do and how quietly we do it. And Alejandro is one of those people who's never in the limelight, but everybody's always saying, wow, look at him, he's, he's the guy. He's the one that's gonna make it. As a matter of fact, I think he's already made it because he's already attending Santa Ana College like a lot of students here are going taking classes. So congratulations, Alejandro. <clears throat> when I asked Alejandro if he wanted me to say anything today, he said, just say whatever you do so I don't have to say anything. <laughs> so that characterizes him. So congratulations again. And so now, I would like to invite to the podium my highly esteemed colleague, and beautiful, she said to say beautiful, um, <laughs> the principal. Oh, well, oh, I'm so see, sorry, Cindy, I just wanted to see you get up. <laughs> um, the reason I didn't do this right is because they are both my, they are also both the top scholars. Okay, so come on up, you guys, and bring your parents. The first one, okay. Alejandro Lua, we'll do Alejandro Lua first. I'm gonna, I'm gonna really, I'm gonna really mess with you guys. Sorry.
And now, Luisa Sanchez. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> My highly esteemed and beautiful colleague, <laughs> Cindy Lancedo, the principal of Godinez Fundamental High School. Good evening. Um, before I start, for the students, I wanted to make sure I thanked our amazing counseling team, Elizabeth Castro, Dr. Chavez, Matthew Hall, Jerry Ox, Alba Valenzuela, and Jimmy Bravo, our higher ed. The kids wanted me to make sure I thanked them, so I'm glad they asked me to do that. First up, we have Miguel Alcocer, and he will be going off to UC Berkeley with a 4.81 GPA. Next up on the red carpet, Adrian Avila with a 4.56 GPA, who will be heading off to San Luis Obispo and majoring in biochemical engineering. Next up, Chris Blancas. He'll be going off to UC Berkeley with a major of economics. Chris will be leaving us with a 4.82 GPA. Next on the red carpet, I'd like to welcome Michelle Bowie. Michelle Bowie has a 4.62 GPA. She won't be going too far, but she will be going to UCLA and being an anthropology major. Headed off to Cal Poly Pomona, Alan Shamu and his 4.57 GPA will be majoring in computer science and physics. Diaz is our next student we'd like to honor with a 4.54 GPA. She'll be heading off to USC to fight with the Trojans. Andrea will be an e economics major at USC. You look beautiful. Thank you.
Salvador Gutierrez could not make it tonight, but I didn't want his efforts to go unnoticed. Salvador will be going off to UC Berkeley as a biochemistry major with a 4.6 GPA. Ileana Barra is in the house. Ileana will be going to UCLA next year with a 4.62 GPA. <laughs> Ileana is going to be a political science major. Yailin Garcia, Yailin Garcia, oh, Andrea Diaz, sorry, I, these glasses are not working. Andrea, Yailin, you guys, I need to throw these away. Yailin Garcia, these glasses are not working. Yailin Garcia, how could I forget you? You'll be going to USC with a 4.65 GPA, majoring in mechanical engineering. Was that right? I try not to get nervous, but it's too exciting, and I just get nervous. Next up, we have Natalie Cam Pham. Natalie is going off to Berkeley. Natalie has a 4.67 GPA and will be majoring in computer science. Alondra Milan is up next. Alondra Milan will be heading back east to attend Wellesley College in Massachusetts. <laughs> Natalie has worked hard for a 4.65 GPA and is majoring in biological sciences. Elias Nieto is up next. Elias has a 4.78 GPA. He'll be, he'll be heading off to UC Irvine as an anteater and will be majoring in engineering. Enrique Roman is up next. <laughs> Enrique will be going off to Union College with his 4.54 GPA and majoring in mathematics. I salute you. <laughs> Math major. <laughs> Next up, Araceli Ruvacalva. Araceli is going to Occidental College, 4.58 GPA, and majoring in political science.
Ariana Santana will be going off to UC Irvine next year. Oh no, I'm sorry. Just kidding. Ariana will be going to Swarthmore in Pennsylvania next year, majoring in psychology with a 4.64 GPA. Next up, we have Michael Solorio. Michael Solorio. <laughs> has a 4.81 GPA and will be attending Stanford in the fall as a political science major. Rosa Orquiz is our last Grizzly to be recognized this evening. Rosa will be attending Haverford College in Pennsylvania with a psychology and a minor in health studies. Now I'd like to introduce our outstanding female student. Rosa, would you mind coming back up with your mom and dad? Yeah. Rosa is an amazing young lady. She's ambitious, courageous, and has a genuine heart. She's, she's in our Mesa Club, and it, she's been involved in the Youth Empowerment Network, where she worked with the Santa Ana Unified School District's Nutrition Services and lobbied in Sacramento for better nutri nutrition in schools. Rosa was also a QuestBridge winner, getting a scholarship of over $65,000 every year to use towards her education. Everything Rosa does, she makes look easy, but her kind heart and her humble attitude will get her very far, and Godinez is very proud of her. Congratulations, Rosa Orquiza. Now I'd like to honor Godinez's male outstanding student, and that is Michael Solorio. Michael, would you mind coming up with your parents? Now I have a lot of stories to tell about Michael, but I won't. But I do want to tell you that Michael's involved in ASB. He was on the wrestling team and is the senior class president. He's charismatic and a go-getter, and I've loved spending all our mornings with him this year because he's also been on morning announcements with me. A little while ago, a few months ago, Michael told me that he was going to his, he was going to his backup school. He had been accepted to Harvard, but after visiting both, he really felt at home and wanted to stay in California close to his family. Michael, you're an exceptional young man and we could not be prouder. Congratulations, Michael, the male outstanding student. Congratulations to all our Grizzly winners. You really make us proud, and we are so excited to see where you go in the future. You can go now. 
Now I'd like to call up Mr. Patrick Cornforth, the very handsome colleague and principal of Lauren Grissett. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, students, parents, honored guests, members of our support team, counselors. I'd like to acknowledge all of the work that you do and, and my own personal round of applause to all of you in getting these 100 kids here tonight. So I give my own applause to all of you. I'm honored to be here tonight as Lauren Grisset Academy's principal and present to you first our top female scholar. This young lady has a story, she has a journey, and her story and journey are not that unusual for the success stories at Lauren Grisset Academy. It has many ups, it has many downs, it has an ebb, it has a flow, but in the end she has persevered and it brings her here tonight to be honored at this distinguished event. This young lady has been an A-B student throughout most of her high school career, but at times life got in the way. But she has worked, she's traveled from Godinas High School to Valley High School to Lauren Grissett Academy, where in 15 classes there she achieved 11 A's. She is now the proud mother of a two-year-old daughter, Mia, who's just fantastic and beautiful. She is preparing to start classes at Santa Ana College in the fall. She's a two-time Seroptimist Young Woman of Achievement Award winner, and I was proud to have lunch with her earlier today. And I am truly honored to present to you Melissa Aliyah. I'd also like to invite uh, Mr. and Mrs. Aliyah to join us up here for pictures, please. And Mia, shh. <laughs> Lauren Grissett's top male scholar also looks to, I believe, have a very bright future. In his three full semesters at Lauren Grissett Academy, he earned an unweighted GPA of 3.85. Since graduating early in January, he's worked hard to assist his family. He's been working in construction. It's a very noble trade, as I well know, being a licensed general contractor for my adult life before education. He's a soft-spoken, humble, deeply thoughtful young man who told me earlier that he would be happy if he was studying the social characteristics of monkeys. He's a very bright young man that our Lauren Grissett Academy family will continue to support and encourage to pursue his unique potential. And I am truly honored to present to you Emilio Berrera. And I would at this time like to invite Emilio's guests, Saul Garcia and Leslie Garcia, to please join us up here for photographs.
And it's my honor now to present to you the distinguished principal of Middle College High School, Dr. Kathy Apps. Well, good evening, everyone. It is with great pride that I introduce to you our middle college high school students, uh, top male and female. And we're going to start with Miss Christina Garcia. Christina. In our dual enrollment high school at Santa Ana College, Christina has made it a long-term goal to earn her AA degree by June of her senior year. Not only will she earn her AA degree, but she currently has a 4.0 on her college transcript while earning 17 units of honors coursework at the college. At her graduation from Santa Ana College in two short weeks, she will earn multiple awards for her achievements. The President's Scholar Award, the Honors Transfer Program Award, and the highest honors, maintaining a Santa Ana College GPA of 4.0. She is the first student in our school's history to earn all three of these awards. <laughs> while maintaining a high school GPA of 4.4. Her career plan is to study to become a pediatric nurse. Coming from a large family of 11 children, Christina has developed many applicable skills for nursing. She is patient, she is understanding, and she is kind. She also volunteers at Children's Hospital of Orange County and finds great satisfaction from interacting with the children. We congratulate Christina as she is on her way to UCLA Nursing School. Go Bruins! At this time, I would like to. Oh. And now, at this time, <laughs> I'd like to introduce Christina's parents to the podium for pictures. Oh, they did. Okay, I didn't see you come up. Thank you. <laughs> I did that last year, too. At this time, I'd like to introduce to our top middle college high school male to the podium, Mr. Jonathan Orozco. <laughs> Jonathan is a strong yet kind-hearted leader. As sergeant of arms of our associated student body, his steady and kind manner has allowed him to be well respected in his position. He has the ability to listen to students with respect, and when he needs to keep order, students listen and follow his instructions. This can be a delicate position, and Jonathan has handled himself with dignity and charm. His motivation for joining ASB was to be able to improve and impact our school in positive ways. Since our students take college classes every semester, it can be sometimes stressful, and so Jonathan has made it his goal to unite the students and bring everyone more enjoyment and entertainment activities to the student body. Off campus, Jonathan works part-time with his dad in construction. He enjoys working on cars and is also a photographer, helping with a local business. Through these activities, he has learned the importance of hard work and responsibility. Academically, Jonathan is on track also in two weeks to earn his AA degree in liberal arts from Santa Ana College while maintaining a 4.3 high school GPA. Congratulations to Jonathan. He is also on his way to UCLA nursing school and to uh, become a nurse. Uh, two of our students got into this very prestigious school, so we're very, very uh, happy for them both. Go Bruins. <laughs> Okay. 
At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce the very dynamic principal of Saddleback High School, Mr. Ed Bustamante. Dynamic and short, just like a road runner, right? <laughs> so, good evening, everyone. My name is Ed Bustamante, and I have the privilege and honor to say that I am the principal of Saddleback High School. I also consider, oh. okay. beep, beep. I also consider myself the luckiest guy on earth for two reasons. I get the opportunity every day to work with amazing students and they are truly fantastic and inspiring and every day as a principal, my kids inspire me. So I wanna thank them for that. The second reason why I'm the luckiest guy on earth is because I get the opportunity as well to work with amazing staff, teachers, and an amazing group of counselors that dedicate their lives and their days to our kids to make sure that they get this great opportunity. So thank you to all of you as well and letting me be the luckiest guy on earth. So um, with that said, let's get this started. All right, so for Saddleback's top 100 scholars, Gabriela Ayala, 4.4 GPA. Gabriela will be attending Santa Ana College and majoring in communicative disorders. Next is Brian Chang, GPA 4.32. He will be attending Cal State Long Beach and major in kinesiology. Make sure you have him around when I'm doing sports there, big guy. Got a lot of injuries here. Next is Rebecca DeVore, 4.25. She will be attending UCR and major in psychology. Next up is Denise Garcia. Denise has a 4.68. She will be attending USC and majoring in mechanical engineering. Next up is Nayeli Gonzalez, 4.35. She will be attending UC San Diego and majoring in physiology. Next is Susan Gonzalez, 4.45. She will be attending UCLA and majoring in neuroscience. Next up is Vanessa Gonzalez, GPA 4.65. She will be attending UCI 
and major in mathematics secondary education. Next up is Tyler Nguyen, 4.25, attending UCI and majoring in electrical engineering. Right here, baby. Next up is Enrique Pineda, GPA 4.34. He will be attending UCI and majoring in chemistry. Next up is Aurora Rocha, 4.4, .4, attending Cal Poly Pomona, majoring in civil engineering. Next up is Luis Terrones. <laughs> Luis will be attending the MIT and major in computer science. The man, the myth, the legend at Saddleback right now. Next is Miguel Toledo, GPA 4.23, will be attending UCI and is majoring in aerospace engineering. At this time, I'd like to uh, recognize Saddleback's outstanding female scholar. I'd like to call up Denise Garcia and her parents to come on up. <laughs> Denise will be attending USC and major in mechanical engineering in the fall. She is our class of 2016 salutatorian at Saddleback. Denise is involved in Mesa Robotics Challenge and received first place in robotic performance and for the Mesa Civil Structures Competition. She was recognized by the College Board as an AP Scholar, and she is the President of Mesa, President of the California Scholarship Federation, and President of the Kauaians Quiz Club. Denise was also awarded an internship at JPL last summer and was awarded the Outstanding Student Presentation Award. She worked on missions including Mars 2020, NASA, NISAR, and Gravity Recovery and Climate experiment follow-up. Oh, busy last summer. A quote from her essay, at JPL I was assigned the task of completing a hardware design for an Earth orbiter. The highest responsibility I had ever entrusted with me before was babysitting and now I'm working on a spacecraft. <laughs> so congratulations Denise and no doubt you'll be reaching beyond the stars. Saddleback's Outstanding Male Scholar. Let me call back up Luis Terrones. Come on up, Luis. 
Luis will be attending MIT and majoring in computer engineering. He is our class of 2016 valedictorian. He is the coordinator of the Van Clark Catholic U Missionary Group, captain of the CDA Slammers Club soccer team, member of the Saddleback School Site Council, and the recipient of the Gates Millennium Scholarship. Luis has been recognized by the Board of National Hispanic Scholar and an AP Scholar with honor and was also awarded an internship at JPL last year. Quote from one of his essays, my first day at JPL, I couldn't help but feel proud seeing that it is the workplace of some of the most intelligent people in the world. However, it was just as intimidating for that very same reason. I learned from the lead programmer that nothing comes out of JPL that was the work of a lone individual. It's always a team effort. Congratulations, Luis, and continue the fantastic journey that you have set for yourself. At this time, I'd like to invite my esteemed colleague and friend, Mr. Jeff Bishop, principal of Santa Ana High School. First of all, I want to say I'm extremely proud of the saints that are with us tonight. You represent the 126-year Santa Ana High School tradition well. So I'm pleased to be here with you tonight, and I'm excited. So tonight, I'd like to introduce, first of all, before I go any further, the counseling staff at Santa Ana High School. I want to thank you for the positive relationships you build with these kids, and you've been with them for four years. I, my, my deep gratitude for the work that you do, so thank you. First off, Sandy Andreas. Vanessa Cruz, UCI, Biomedical Engineering, 4.4.
George Gomez. Jennifer Leal, UCI English, <laughs> Silvestre Lopez, Miss Devil, Del Mendoza, Cal State Fullerton. Thank you. 
Luis UCI Political Science and Management. Fernando Sanchez, UC Berkeley, Computer Science, and Technical. Rosa and Victor Kowski Oakland. At this time, I'd like to um, introduce to you the top uh, male student at uh, Santa Ana High School. Could I have Sylvester Lopez? Sylvester, Sylvester has handled the pressure of being among the top students throughout his years at Santa Ana High School with grace and humility. He has fully embraced life by participating in all facets of our high school while maintaining the grade point average of 4.71. He's excelled academically and athletically. He has also taken an active leadership role in CSF, ASB, freshman mentoring program, volleyball, ac academic talent search, and quiz bowl. He has been granted a housing scholarship for four years and over $10,000 in scholarships. Seen as a leader among his peers, he shines quietly while maintaining a sense of purpose and belief in himself. He cares about people and the world in which he lives and hopes to leave his mark in his community and the world. Santa Ana High School is very proud and honored to have a saint like this young man. We at Santa Ana High School have no doubt that he will excel and succeed 
at the University of California at Irvine. Congratulations. To you. And now the top female scholar at Santa Ana High School. And I'm going off the script here a little bit because as a board member, President Blossom said, she's one out of millions that got a Olympic score in the award. That makes her special, not only to Santa Ana High School, but this entire city, because she works hard and he represents not only Santa High School, but every person sitting in this room. Congratulations, Morelli, and can you please bring her parents up? This outstanding young lady is currently a leading academic student in her graduating class. During these past four years, this young lady flourished both academically and socially. She has been focused and knew early on that higher education was for her. Noelle is one of a handful of students across the world to pass the AP Spanish and Language Cultural Exam. It is something to celebrate, especially because she has never taken that AP Thank class. You. Thank you. Noelle has risen to the top of her senior class. She is extremely, extremely involved both in and outside of the community. She volunteers at a local preschool, plays tennis, is active in CSF and the Do Something Club, which is a community volunteering agency. Academically, Noelle has a rigorous course load, which she performs well in. She has made it a point to master and challenge herself in a variety of subjects that others find difficult. Simultaneously, Noelle is duly enrolled in math classes at the community college. She has taken every single math course at Santa Ana High School. Noelle Zorati's fortitude and determination will follow her no matter what the path she chooses in the years ahead. She is exceptional. She is exceptional young woman who will be tremendous asset at UCI. Congratulations. to introduce uh, my esteemed colleague from Seagerstrom High School, uh, Mr. Duncan McCullough. Kids, 
at Sagerstrom High School, and it can't be done without some of the people that support them. I want to thank personally our counseling staff that helps them along the way, Mrs. Laura, Mr. Gonzalez, Mrs. Mejia, Mrs. Castillo, Mrs. Brissett. Thank you very much for all the work you do. And I can't do it without a phenomenal team, Mr. Moreno, Mr. Correa. Thank you very much for all that and the support that the district and the cabinet give us each and every day to produce some of the greatest AP scores and some of the best kids out there. Um, thank you very much. So I'm going to. I also wanted to thank, before I move on to read these kids' names, um, up and down the list, I'm sure all the kids in this in this room have taken a multitude of AP classes since their 10th grade year, and although they couldn't be here tonight, I want to thank personally our AP program and our AP teachers uh, for all the work they do, all the extra time they put in, the boot camps over the summer, all the things that help. A lot of these teachers are the inspiration to our students. And I want to thank them today because um, of their hard work and dedication. So without, anything, without any further ado, I want to start uh, alphabetically and in introduce Alma Barrera. <laughs> Alma will be attending UC Berkeley in the fall, and she will be studying psychology. Next up is Paul Samudal. <laughs> also, he wants to be an electrical engineer, and he will be doing that at Cal Poly Pomona. Next up, we have Rebecca Cardenas. <laughs> Rebecca will be studying mechanical engineering at UC San Diego. Next, we have Kimberly Castillo. <laughs> Kimberly Lee will be attending Cal State Long Beach, go Niners, and will be studying nursing. Next up, we have Min Tam Chow. Min Tam will be attending UC Irvine and studying civil engineering. Next, we have Thomas Che, another electrical engineering major attending UCLA in the fall. Next up is Brenda.
Next up, we have Emmanuel Gutierrez. He will be going to the University of Southern California studying computer engineering. Next up is Rachel Miguel. <laughs> Rachel is also going to UCLA in the fall and studying political science. Next up, we have Michelle Nguyen.
Next up is Shimi Oriyama. She is from UC San Diego, studying political science. Next up is Yesenia Reyes. She's also going to UCLA studying pre-human biology and society. I say that right. Next is Isaiah Sandoval, also going to UCLA and studying neuroscience. Next is Michelle Tran. Michelle will be going to UC Irvine and studying mechanical engineering. Last but certainly not least, full of spunk and talent, Tammy Trin, going to UC Berkeley, studying political science, enjoys calling her principal by his first name every day. At this time, I'd like to introduce the outstanding female scholar from Sagerstrom High School. Will the parents of Bin Min Mai come on up? Bin, come on over here. Bin has a 4.89 GPA. I broke that rule. Yes. President of the Red Cross Club, President and Secretary of the Girls Inc. at our school, member of CSF, member of NHS, uh, ASB Senate member, spare time, Harry Potter. And now I'd like to introduce the outstanding male scholar for Sagerstrom High School, Emmanuel Gutierrez, and his parents or family. Come on up. Well done. Congrats. Emmanuel is amazingly honest. Amazingly humble to a fault, one of the most outstanding kids on our campus, and you would never know it because of his humility. He is also a member of NHS, CSF. He is a Simon Scholar and will be going to the University of Southern California this fall. We are really going to miss him and his class. 
Thanks, Emmanuel. At this time, I'd like to bring back Dr. Michelle Rodriguez to close out the ceremony. Thank you. Well, let's give one last great round of applause to all of our wonderful students. An event like this cannot go off without having the support of a lot of really um, dedicated um, personnel. So we, I want to recognize the assistant principals that have been um, invested in this process. So if they could stand as I um, say their name. So they're sitting over there. Katrina Calloway, Gerardo Correa, Annie Harper, Chad Greendale, Dan Granite, Jeffrey Rosema, Michael Lee, Damon Voigt, Belina Espinosa. And also, I would like to recognize the other staff that has really supported this Suzanne Zavala, <laughs> Mill Chris Martinez, and our Head Counselor for the District, Brandy, uh, Brandy Agustin. Well, again, congratulations on behalf of the board and the superintendent for a job well done. We know that you are going to have an excellent impact not only on your families and this community, but on your entire generation. So go out and do great things. Good night. Okay, muy bien, y estamos con, es, ¿cómo te llamas? Diana Landín. ¿Su nombre? Hilda Mondragón. Yeah, ¿Y cuán orgullosa está de su hija, que es una de las 100 mejores de todo el distrito? Ah, pues me siento muy orgullosa de mi hija, y qué puedo decir, gracias a, a ustedes que han apoyado a los maestros más que nada. Ay, qué mamá mí. Mamá. Ah, qué linda. Y, eh, y de todas maneras, gracias. Y a ella más que nada por ser una niña. Estudiosa. Felicidades. Uh, so, what, what are your plans after this? Uh, well, plan to go to UCLA, you know, and start as a freshman again and, you know, learn new things and continue to go on my path. Okay. What's your path? What are you going to study? Um, business economics. Excellent. Plan to come back after that and then open a business or something? Um, I'm planning to actually come back and open scholarships for my local school, Santa Ana High School, and try to build something up for my community. Excellent. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. So we're here with? Rachel Medell from Sagerstrom High School. Good. So congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much. How does it feel to be recognized to be uh, as being as one of the top 100 students in the whole district? Um, I'm deeply humbled. I was here actually last year volunteering, um, helping set up, and I was like, wow, I really hope I can get here next year. And uh, when they called me up, I was just really, really excited. And um, I'm so grateful my parents are right here, if you want to just look sure. at them. Um, <laughs> I'm so grateful for them. I don't think I'd be here if it weren't for them. So just a huge thank you. It's my dad and my mom. <laughs> Felicidades. ¿Qué se siente que su hija sea una de las 100 mejores de todo el distrito? Bien orgulloso, bien orgulloso de ella. Créame. Todo el esfuerzo que uno hace del trabajo, muchas cosas que uno hace. ¿Y qué le recomendaría a los demás padres para que sus hijos fueran uno de los 100 mejores del distrito? Definitivamente que le inviertan tiempo, que estén al pendiente de todas las necesidades en la escuela que ellos tienen y que los acompañen siempre. So what are your plans? Where are you going? I'm going to UCLA in the fall, and I'll be majoring in political science. Excellent. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, and we are here with? Ariana Santana. ¿Y su nombre? Maricela R. Loaiza. ¿Y cuán orgullosa está de su hija, que es una de las 100 mejores de todo el distrito? Me siento completamente orgullosa. Pienso que hemos, mi esposo y yo hemos hecho un buen trabajo con nuestros tres hijos universitarios. ¿Qué cosas ha hecho que piensa que hicieron una diferencia en sus hijos universitarios? Bueno, pienso que la educación es uno de los pasos muy importantes, enseñarlos a leer libros desde el embarazo y continuar, van creciendo los libros en la casa por todos lados, eh, el respeto a la comunidad, el amor a sí mismos y el amor a Dios.
And, and I, I bet I bet that throughout your years, maybe it was uh, difficult, like, oh, mom, come on, stop it, or whatever. Was it worth it at the end? It was definitely worth it. I mean, we, we've seen how all of us, um, we've come so far, and my mom has really been a person who's pushed our education, and it was definitely work, worth it. Very good. And where are you going after this? I'm going to Swarthmore College. It's in Pennsylvania. You major in? I'm majoring in psychology. Excellent. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Felicidades. And we are here with? Emmanuel Gutierrez. What, from the school? Segerstrom High School. Okay. Señora, su nombre? Rocio Garcia. Jorge Gutierrez. Primeramente, felicidades. ¿Qué se siente que su hijo sea uno de los 100 mejores estudiantes de todo el distrito? Mm, muy feliz. Agradecida con Dios de que le ha dado la sabiduría, el entendimiento y la inteligencia para salir adelante. ¿Qué cosas eh, hicieron ustedes durante toda su carrera este, escolar que piensan que marcó una diferencia en que él estuviera aquí? Ah, para mí, porque él, él siempre fue muy responsable desde chico, por él, muy responsable desde chico, nunca tuve, tuvimos que andar atrás de él. Muy bien, ¿algo, algo que cree que Sí, es que siempre se le explicó y se le habló las cosas como son y el esfuerzo que, que hace la persona para salir adelante es lo que le va, le va a redituar cuando sea más grande para, para sobresalir en la sociedad. Muy bien, so how does it feel that they're recognizing you for being one of the top 100 students? Uh, it's a great honor to be recognized for all our hard work, not just for me, for everyone else. I w it's a great feeling getting to be around all the other scholars who are going to do great things in the future. Excellent. And speaking of the future, where are you going and what you're majoring in? Uh, I'm going to the University of Southern California, majoring in computer engineering. Good. Congratulations. Felicidades. <laughs> we are here with board member Ceci Iglesias. How are you? Good, thank you. So, how does it feel to be in the presence of the great ones? Well, all students are great, but the top 100 students of the school district. No, it's, it's an amazing feeling just to see that they're the top of the class. And uh, for me, like I've shared, you know, I started with them when they were freshmen. So pretty much they're the ones that I've graduated with. And, uh, it, and it's amazing just to see the talent that they have. And I know that they're going to be achieving a lot of great things because that's they're just made of, you know, greatness. So I, I so I'm hoping that we you know we've served them well and then they come back but it's amazing just to be here and celebrating with them. And if you had one uh, wish for them, a well wish for them, what would that be? Never give up and always love your parents. Thank you. So we are here with Cindy Lancillo now at uh, Godinez but used to be at uh, Mendez. Right. And you have your Mendez student right here. I Tell know. us about her. Well Adriana was a student of mine at Mendez and it's really cool to be even though I don't see her much a part of the process and tonight even when I missed a student's name Adriana was going Mrs. Lancito you skipped one so we're always going to be connected I'm always going to be proud of her and I know she and everybody else that was honored tonight is going to go on and do amazing things Excellent. Adriana, so what do you remember from uh, Ms. Lancilla at Mendez? Everything. I just loved her as a principal. She was always very supportive, always ensured the best for all of us from making sure we had the, the proper shoes, proper colors, to making sure we were academically strong and um, best performing. So I really I have a lot to thank her. <laughs> Congratulations. We are here with? Long Nguyen. From what school? Uh, Valley High School. And how proud are you? What is your name? Uh, Nam Nguyen. My name is Sang Ha. And how proud are you of your son being one of the best uh, 100 students in the whole district? Yeah, I'm, I'm so excited. I'm so proud of him, you know. Uh, he is the best of my son now, you know. I'm so happy, you know, with him, yeah. How do you feel? Yeah, I feel very happy and I'm proud of my son. What did you do at home to help him be the best, one of the best students? What did, kind of things did you do? Mm. Really, uh, long he very disciplined by himself, so uh, we don't have him a lot. He do by himself, yes. Very good. Very good. So how, how do you feel uh, that your uh, efforts are, uh, are being recognized here tonight? I think it's pretty amazing. I think it's kind of like a... Uh, it, it makes us feel like we're role models for other students who should definitely follow our lead because what we're doing is great things and they, other students should be doing the same too. Very good. And what are your plans for the future? What are you majoring in? Uh, I plan on attending USC and majoring in mechanical engineering. Excellent. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, we're here with uh, Janelle McLaughlin, CFO of the Santa Ana Public Schools Foundation. Uh, tell us about the work that you do and how that supports the best of the best and all of our students uh, at Santa Ana Unified. So tonight was very exciting because this year we have 23 scholarships and they were all sitting in this room tonight and to get to meet their parents and uh, we're going to honor them on the 24th of May at the um, Santa Ana Unified Board meeting and we're going to have a little get together to know the parents. 
any one of these parents and any one of these kids need your help. A thousand dollar scholarship, a five thousand dollar scholarship. They need if you can donate twenty five dollars to build up. Um, it, it's so hard because we saw so many kids that were accepted to Harvard or accepted to um, East Coast schools, but they can't support themselves at the East Coast schools because it's not enough scholarship money. So they choose very good schools, but they have to stay local. But the opportunity is so grand for them. So we have a great website. It's uh, Santa Ana Public Schools Foundation .com and please visit, visit it and you can donate right there. Again, if it's $10, sorry to ask for money, but when you saw this tonight, you'd wanna give. Thank you. Thank you.